Well, hello everyone at Easy Extra. It's finally the Malfest final week, yeah. and we're here with Robin Bankson. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Really, really good. How are you? I'm excited. I'm yeah, ready too. for the final. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, today's first rehearsal. Yeah. Um, what are your expect expectations? I mean, you like you've been in the big arena for like four times. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, four or five times, but three times. It's my third time in Melody Festival, and so I'm really excited. It feels like. You know, I haven't been uh, doing my my performance now since Lean Chapping, which is like five weeks ago. So maybe I'm a little bit rusty, but we'll see. <laughs> you know, I, I feel really good. I I, I stayed like uh, healthy and I'm not sick or anything, and uh, that's uh, like unusual for me at the, this time of year. So I feel really good. And it's also like you had to wait so long to yeah. finally like play your song. Yeah. I know it was a long way. It's awful, right? Like yeah. people know your song, people want to hear it, but yeah. they can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a lot of people don't know the rules. So they're like, it's "Stupid that you don't release your song! Like you, you need to put it out." And I was like, "I can't." <laughs> yes, I don't want to get disqualified. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, this year you are singing "Take a Chance." Yeah, I heard it's from a songwriting camp. Yeah, that's true. Um, what's the story? How did the song get to you? Um, I'm, I'm good friends with Jimmy, one of the songwriters, and we, we write a lot of music together. We, we uh, wrote like two or three singles for me in the past, so I was in his studio and he he just played it for me. He was like, I, I wrote a really good song, I needed you to hear it. And uh, I think like originally they, they had the plans for a girl to sing it. Okay. Um, but then I, I was like, he didn't know I wanted to go back to, to Melfast, so... I was like, yeah, let's record this with, with me. I think I can sing this really good, and uh, we'll send it in. And I was like, yeah, sure, we can try it. And then it turned out to be, yeah, fit fit me really good. So that's the story. And straight to the final. Yeah, straight to the final. So um, when did you think about coming back? Was it just like when you heard the song, or was the plan already before? Yeah, you know, right when when I had won the whole thing, uh, I, I was like, so I can't go back next year. Maybe <laughs> the year after that, because okay. I think <laughs> this is so so much fun. So I, I waited at least two years. I think that was good on me uh, for waiting so long. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just a vibe here. And I, I love to compete and I love to sing. And here I get to do both, you know. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere and uh, everyone is uh, in a good mood. It's like, it's like you know, a, a wedding vibe. Oh, it's yeah. Six weeks straight. So, you know, it's, not, it's just too fun to not be part of. Sounds amazing, and the first time I think since Constellation Prize you did a music video. Yeah. In London. Yeah. Fits perfect to the song probably. <laughs> yeah, that's why we went there. But uh, yeah, so we went there with just one camera, me and a girl called Julia, who's a great like filmer and uh, editor, and mm. uh, we just like basically took the subway to uh, a lot of different places and, and filmed yeah Leicester Square, <laughs> uh, and uh, just filmed a bunch of cool locations and put a cool video together which I think like gets the vibe of the song really really well yeah it's amazing it's thank great you. thank you um, this competition this year is also very strong yeah and you cover some songs on Instagram yeah um, which song of the other competing acts would you like to sing like I would have loved to enter this song or like make a single of it <sighs> I think uh, that would be Anna's song because I think that's what the one who is closer to me uh, like uh, in, in style of music um, it's it's a bit country rock mm -hmm. pop uh, which I love to sing so it would be that one how would your performance look like the same uh, yeah maybe <laughs> why not I mean it's a cool performance so, it is yeah. yes <laughs> um, all your songs you competed with Melody Festival are like written by someone else but you also yeah. like write a lot of songs yeah um, you also thought about like entering a song you also wrote yeah you know I, I tried to to ride for the competition a few times but I find it hard to you know you need to it can't be more than three minutes and it has to be a, a really effective song and when I sit down with my guitar it tends to be more of a singer songwriter maybe not as direct songs as I've been doing in Melody Festival and so you know I, I've, I always go with other people's songs because I, I think they, they fit this this concept better oh, yeah. when you know when I look back, it was probably a good choice to not pick one of my own, you know. Well, but I love to release my own music and, and write my own music. Uh, but uh, I think it's yeah, it's hard to, to make it a, make it a good Melfa song. It, it has to be something else. Um, I always listen back to your music, and I thought I find the top three of the songs you co-wrote, and you just tell me if I have taste or not. Okay. I would say number three is Dark Angel. Number yeah. two, I have Mama's song, mm -hmm. and number one, I just love that "Never Born to Love." Yeah, 
this like it's beautiful this ballads all of them no not not dark angel but it, yeah uh i i guess they're kind of my favorites so maybe maybe mama song is uh, my my very favorite cuz i wrote most of it myself and it's it's for my mom you know so very personal yeah it's very personal probably my most personal song so far it's amazing like thank you so emotional and you released an ep in 2014 under my skin yeah when is the album coming out <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've been writing music for so many years now, and I have a lot of good songs that I never released. But now they kind of feel feel too old to release, and uh, I never really sat down and put like ten or eight uh, songs uh, down at, in, in the same period of time. So whenever I I feel like putting an album together, it feels too, you know, spread out in the mm. style of music, and then and, and when I release an album, I want it to feel like uh, one piece of art, you know. Oh, yeah. So it'll probably happen. Uh, I just don't really know when. Uh, this year, I'll I'll probably continue to uh, release a bunch of singles, and then you know, this fall we'll see maybe maybe another EP. I think is more likely this year. Okay. Um, you also have like a lot of hobbies, like motorcycle, yeah. barbershops, yeah. spending time with family and stuff. Yeah. What do you do in the free time to like calm down? Is this stuff to calm down or? Do you also have yeah, fun? like I think so. Uh, when I ride motorcycles, uh, I, I compete and race. And uh, you know, at the time I'm racing, I'm not super calm. But you know, after after that, you're so tired, so you you have no choice so but to be calm. Or? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what I what I do to calm down, you know, I just bought a house, so I, I I'm I'm redoing a lot of rooms and building a home studio. Like, you know, just getting home, you know, open a beer and uh, do some painting. That calms me down. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like simple and yeah, it's just you know relaxing. You just said you bought a house. Um, yeah. What's the most important thing to have in your house? What do you need like right away? A big garage. <laughs> or to like yeah, for motorcycle and for motorcycle <laughs> and stuff like that. And you also did let's dance. Yeah. And do you think like this helps you now with performing on stage? Yeah, I mean, actually you look I do. Perfect before. <laughs> actually, I do. It's not that I'm you know doing it cha-cha moves on stage yeah. but, it, but it made me more conscious of my own body you know and I I, uh, I feel more comfortable I'd say on stage after that okay. so it really helped yeah that's great yeah um, you also said like you want to release some new songs this year and probably an EP mm -hmm. is there more planned like a tour or I'll probably go on tour um, this summer and uh, I haven't really like decided the whole plan for this year. Uh, I think I'm I'm waiting till after Saturday to mm. kind of stake it out exactly how how I want this year to be, uh, depending on the results uh, a little bit. So, so I have a few gigs planned out, and I will give my followers more information soon about the dates and and where to go and stuff like that. With Saturday, do you have like expectations, or like after competing like already for two times, you just like have fun, or I try to have. Uh, as much fun as possible, but you know, I still love to compete, mm -hmm. so it's really <laughs> hard to, to not think about the competition, even though I try, but uh, uh, it's gonna be super fun, and I try to focus on that. Well, thank you so much, thank you, and good luck for Saturday. Thank you. Um, do you have a message for the viewers at ETH Extra? Uh, I just love that you are supportive, and uh, I read all your comments, and I um, I think it's really, really cool that you have such a big interest in Melfest, and we really appreciate it. And it's uh, it's fun to see uh, all your comments and uh, your opinions, and uh, you know keep keep um, keep being interested. It's really fun to to be a part of this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.